If God had given us the rest of chapter 10 here, we would say, thank you, God. Thank you for that information because you didn't have to tell us that. And yet you did. Oh, God, I'm so thankful for this word that you gave me because I wouldn't have had it had you told John to seal it up. I wouldn't have had it unless you had told your prophet to write it down. Friends, don't we understand that the entirety of the revelation of God is subject to God's grace in giving it. God didn't have to reveal a single word about himself. He could have left us to our own to do as Romans 1.20 said, to just perceive him through creation. He didn't have to send us his one and only son whom, he, whom Hebrews 1 verse 3 says is the radiance of his glory, the exact impression of his nature. God did not have to especially reveal himself to this world. Every bit of revelation from God is an act of grace. He could have said to his prophets throughout the generations, seal it up, keep it secret. Don't tell the world about the mighty acts of God. Don't tell the world who makes the sun to blaze and keep everyone warm. Don't tell the world where the food for all the animals come from. Don't tell the world how they came to be. Every bit of God's word is dripping with infinite preciousness.